Welcome to my channel. My name is Tan if you're new. In today's video we have a unit that was sent over from divatress.com. Today's unit comes from the brand Free Tress Equal and it's from their Level Up HD Lace Front Wig Collection. I got her in the style Shea and in the color FH Sandy. If you want to find out my thoughts and opinions on this unit, continue to watch. But before we get into the video, make sure you're subscribed and also make sure you're following me on Instagram and TikTok. They're both at Tan Dotson. Let's get into this install. Okay, so I'm stopping this video right here just to let you guys know I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like this wig the way it is straight out the box like this. It's, it's a no-go for me. Like maybe we try to shift her a little bit. Okay, shifted, it's not too bad, but I'm still just... I'm not a fan. And honestly, I think it might be because of the coloring of her. I feel like I probably should have gotten this in a darker color because this to me it's not meshing very well with my skin tone I don't know but hmm, I think I'm about to try to cut her in some shape way or form and see if we can make something happen from this Before I give you guys my rundown about this unit, I want to apologize if the lighting is going in and out. At the beginning of this video, it looked like it was about to storm and just a second ago, the sun was out, but now I guess it's behind the clouds now. I don't know. I just know that I'm going to try to push through this video, so sorry about the lighting. Of course, we're going to start with the cap construction first. It is your standard cap construction. It has three combs in total, one in the back, the other two at the front. It also comes with adjustable straps, and as far as the lace parting goes, it's basically a t-part lace so you get very little lace at the front with hair attached of course and then as far as the parting goes it's basically just the slit according to the stock card this unit is said to be pre-plugged have ear to ear hd lace and also can hold heat up to 400 degrees it doesn't say the length of this unit on the stock card but i would say she's about 24 to 26 inches long when i have all the hair pushed to the front i want to say she stops like about mid waist but when she's pushed all the way to the back i want to say she stops a little bit below my waist the density of this unit is very thick she's not heavy or anything like that but it's just a lot of hair the texture of this unit is very silky it's also a very soft unit but I will say that the shine on it is very high so if I chose to wear her down I would definitely use some dry shampoo to kind of dull down that shine now granted it could be because this is a blonde color and that's why she's coming off a little bit shiny but I would still just use some dry shampoo just to be on the safe side but speaking of colors this unit does come in several different colors and of course I'll pop it up here on the screen Green. I did get the FH Sandy now listen when I have all the hair down 
I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like the color on me. When it's up like this with the bang cut in it, I like it. It's cute. It grows on you very quickly. But all down, I don't know. With my skin complexion, I think it's just a little bit too much. If I had some of that, I want to say it's called root spray, I would take that and spray that on the roots of the unit to make it more wearable or make it more wearable when it's all down for me. <laughs> Now as far as sizing goes for this unit, I definitely say that she's big head friendly. I don't have any spray, any glue, no nothing securing it down. Well, I do have two bobby pins and that's like right here on the sides of the ear tabs. But I don't have anything like securing her in the front. So therefore, I would definitely say that she's big head friendly because she does feel a little bit loose still. So I could definitely go in and tighten her. How many times did I just say definitely? Regarding tangling and shading with this unit, be prepared because you're going to get both. Before putting this unit up in a bun, I went ahead and brushed it out while I combed it out. But I was getting so many random strands just coming out of the unit. On top of that, I was getting a lot of snags. So I know that if I chose to wear this unit completely down, it would definitely tangle, especially on the nape of my neck. And to be quite honest, I expect both of those because this is a synthetic, long, curly colored unit. So it's to be expected. <laughs> now earlier I stopped the video and told you guys how I do not like this unit and I stand 10 toes down with that statement. I am not the biggest fan of this unit at all. Me cutting bangs into her and putting her in a bun is what makes it wearable for me but as far as the unit being completely down and just wearing it straight out of the pack absolutely not. To me this is the type of unit that you would have to do some type of finessing with in order to wear her out. Now I do feel like if she was in a darker color like a 1, 1B maybe even a two i feel like you could get away with possibly just wearing her out of the pack but i would definitely say do something with the hairline now keep in mind i'm not the biggest fan of units that have waves like this especially when they're longer units on shorter units i can sometimes be okay with it or deal with it but i don't know sometimes it can just give me like old hollywood glam and this isn't necessarily giving me old hollywood glam but it's just I don't know, I'm just not a fan of waves like this in longer units. Also keep in mind that these are my personal thoughts and opinions about this unit. This unit might be the one for you. She might be everything and then some for you. But for me, I don't know, like I said, it just takes some finessing in order for it to work for me. What I will say is what you see on the stock card is definitely what you're going to get. There are no lies whatsoever told with this picture. Now I know someone's probably thinking, girl, turn around so I can see the back of the unit. And I am. Just hold your horses, please and thank you. <laughs> I do want to let you guys know though, if you plan on putting this unit up like I did, you might see some tracks on the side, like maybe one, two, three, maybe even four. But just tell people to keep their distance. They shouldn't be all up on you like that anyway. <laughs> Also note that I did use two bobby pins on the sides just to try to keep the ear tabs down and I also used I want to say three bobby pins in the back just to kind of flatten it a little bit. Again I think it looks the best like this and I would actually wear this outside of my house. Next let's go ahead and talk about the price of this unit. On divatress.com she does retail for $37.99 but if you plan on picking up one of the specialty colors expect to pay about a $4 upcharge. But yeah that's pretty much all I have to say about this unit. Let me know in the comments down below if I I should start a series called like turning nothing into something and it'll be where I take like the lesser popular brands of synthetic units and try to figure out and finesse a way for them to work would that be something you guys would be interested in I don't know let me know down in the comments below but yeah if you enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up also make sure you subscribe to the channel before you leave and also make sure you click the bell that way you're notified anytime that i upload a video follow me on instagram and tiktok they're both at tan dotson i'll be sure to have a direct link to this unit in the description box below so make sure you check that out i don't have anything else to say though except for i will see you guys in the next one bye